Research from Cornell University in New York and Guelph University in Ontario, Canada found that 25 to 40 percent of all fresh cows suffer from ketosis. The two universities in this research also found that the ratio between clinical and subclinical cases is one to four in favor of subclinical. Damages from both are very similar. Typical subclinical ketosis damages are lower and later peak yield, late to get pregnant, and therefore increase of open days and extended lactation. Unless you test or measure your cow's milk, blood, or urine every milking, you will have very small chances to find those subclinical ketosis cases and will not be able to treat them early and effectively. By monitoring fat and protein ratio using Afilab, you will detect subclinical ketosis easily and accurately. Ah.